Hello, my friend, and welcome. Many people have asked me, how do you paint in, in this way with, with this such power and energy on the page and on the canvas? How, how, do, how do these paintings have so much energy and, and flow and vitality and life in them as if they're breathing with life? How do you do that? And so in this video, I'd like to show you how. It's not that complicated, but it's a very different way of painting than you've probably ever learned or heard about before. It's a very unique way. One of the reasons it's so unique is because the artist is out of the way. All the skills and training and, and history and baggage that we've accumulated over a lifetime of, of being an artist is, is removed. And that's why this is a spiritual practice. It's both an art practice and a spiritual practice. So we, we empty ourselves out so that life is able to paint through us. So that the process of life itself, the creative energy of life itself is allowed to flow through us and be revealed on a page so that other people can see it too. And it's a complete surprise to us when we do it, what flows through because we're doing it without any intention. We're doing it without any preconceived idea of what's going to appear. We're completely present in the moment and allowing life to flow through us. And that's why the things that emerge are so creative and so amazing. One after another, nothing looks like the thing before it. Everything in each moment is entirely unique, entirely creative. This is what true creativity is. Picasso once said that it took him four years to paint like the master painter Raphael. And that's no mean feat. I mean, Picasso was also a master painter. And so it only took him four years to paint like Raphael. But painting like someone else is not creativity. This is not true creativity. This is not the natural creativity of life, which brings something entirely new into the world. So Picasso said, it took me four years to paint like Raphael, but a lifetime to paint like a child. Because a child paint is creative. A child doesn't have all that baggage. A child, when a child scrawls with a crayon on the wall, he's not trying to make something that looks like something else. He's not trying to make a person or anything. He's just amazed at, at the natural flow that's coming through him and appearing on the wall with his crayon. It's amazing him. You know, we, we call this scribbling. But this scribbling is, is true creativity. It's bringing something new and unique into the world. So that's why Picasso said it, it took him a lifetime to paint like a child, to be truly creative and have his own vision and voice. Not, not the vision and voice of, of, of someone with all this training and, and knowledge, but the vision and voice of life itself, of something that's coming through that's completely unique in each moment. Jackson Pollock was asked uh, when he was painting his, his drip paintings, his wonderful abstract paintings filled with life and energy, um, did he still paint nature? Did he still paint nature? In other words, landscapes. And he responded, I am nature painting. I am nature painting. He's not the artist Jackson Pollock painting. He's nature painting. He's life itself painting. And this is true creativity because what is creative? Not, not the, the mind of an artist, which is like a hamster wheel that's really just repeating with slight variations things that it knows and has done before and found successful, but something entirely unique and new in this moment, something that's alive. And this is the type of painting that I'm talking about. These paintings that, that I do and others do who, who 
are able to paint with this vitality and this life and this newness, this raw energy that you can see on the page. And you can see in my paintings as well, this raw energy, this raw life that is flowing through onto the page and is captured on the page. And, and how I do this is, is quite simple, really. I get out of the way. I am life painting. I am nature painting. This is the painting of a child. This is the painting of complete innocence and, and an emptiness of the mind with no intention and just being present in this moment. And how I do that is uh, I take a brush and usually I paint with these Asian brushes because they're very expressive. They're very expressive because they allow life to flow through in a wonderful way. But you can also paint with a crayon or a pen or anything else and, and you will have wonderful results. But these have a particularly expressive line as you can see in these paintings. And so whether, whether I'm holding a crayon or a pencil or anything else, I don't hold it as if you were writing you know, a letter or something. It's much too tight and restricted like that. You want life and vitality to flow through you, so you need to be a vehicle for life and vitality to flow through you. And so you hold it like this, with, with all four fingers like, like so. And the other thing that you want to do is you want to use your whole body. So you don't want to just paint just with your you know, your wrist or your hands. You want to paint from your feet up. From your feet up, you want, you want from, from your feet up through your body, through your shoulder, through your arms, ending up at the tip of that brush on, on the page. You want you know, the whole energy of your body to be active in this. And that helps that vitality and flow and energy come in. You can learn this in martial arts and, and, and um, Tai Chi and Qi Kung, how to use energy and how to let energy flow through your body. And it flows through the body into the brush and into the page, as you can see in these paintings. So, so the next thing you want to do is in order to help get out of the way is you want to paint extremely fast. In other words, the whole painting shouldn't take more than a second, it should take less than a second, a single in-breath or out-breath and it's done. However, whatever you're doing, you move very quickly. And you also want the brush to move so fast that you really can't see it. It's like a blur. You know, it's just moving like a blur. So you don't really see it. So your whole body is moving, but it's, the energy just flows through really quickly. And that's demonstrated in what you see on the page. But you're also out of the way you're also out of the way. You're not interfering. Your thoughts are not interfering. If you paint slowly, then you can say, oh, well, the composition would look nice if I had this over there. And I found that doing that, with all the art training that I've had and as a professional artist, that that got in the way of that pure energy that arises not from me, but something beyond me, something more than me, that pure energy that you can feel in this. I want to be out of the way. So basically I paint very fast. Within a second the whole painting is done. And then you go on to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. So in, in a type of brush like this you may only have one sheet of paper or canvas because it's a fairly large brush. But you can use smaller brushes you know, like this and you can paint a number of them on, on one sheet of paper. And Essentially, because you can, you're painting so quickly, you can paint um, in 20 minutes, you might have 50 or 100 paintings in only 20 minutes. And while you're painting, you don't want to um, pay any attention to what's painted. You're just painting. You're not editing. You're not approving. You're not seeing if it's good or not. You're just letting the brush move by itself. You're just letting this energy flow through. And after you've finished with 10, 20, 30, 50 pages, 100 pages, however many there are that you're doing in that period of time, after you're done, then for the first time you look at them. So you want to resist the idea to go, oh, look at this, look how this works or something. Just leave that alone and just let the painting flow through. In other words, no editing. 
same way that you would write. Just let this consciousness flow through. Don't interfere and only look at it when it's done. This is how you express something pure and unique and alive and real into the world. So you don't want to look until, until you're done. And then the last, the step after you have this 20, 50, or 100 pages is then you go through them. And I call this mining. It's like you're looking for gold. You're, trying, you're looking for gold. So you go through these and you mine them. And if you haven't done this before, you'll find that things will, you will find things on the page that are so unlike anything that you've ever done before. And if you're honest, so unlike anything that you could ever do. It's beyond your ability with all your training, all your knowledge to paint like this with this elegance and flow and, and perfection and creativity and newness and aliveness. You can't make this happen with your, with your skill and talent and idea. What you do is you get out of the way and you allow life to flow through you. And this what create this beautiful, expressive lines, this incredible power. These are only in black and white, you know, because there's so much energy coming through them that I don't want to even bring color into it. Not at this point anyways. I can and I have done it before and the same thing happens. But the, this, the black and white, the simplicity of the black and white really shows you what true creativity is and what it can do. Every single painting looks completely different from every other one. If you're using a smaller brush and you may have, you know, five or six paintings on one page and every single one looks completely different from all the other ones. It's incredible. And if you have a hundred paintings, when you go through, you'll see that every single one looks completely different from every other one. None of them have any similarity to any of the other ones. It's amazing. This is true creativity. You know, if you paint a thousand paintings, not a single one will look anything like any of the other ones. They'll be new and alive and fresh in this moment. And this is, when you start doing this, it, it just, your jaw drops. It's just so awesome to see this, to find these things. And after 20 years of painting like this, I'm still like that. I'm still awed by what comes through. I can't conceive mentally of how this even happens. It's amazing the things that come through. So as you go through, as you mine these paintings, as you look at the paintings once you're done um, for the day, as you look at them, it's kind of like uh, if you've ever lain on your back and, and looked at the clouds, you know, and seen different shapes in, in clouds. Maybe there's a dolphin or an elephant a tree, a person, a city, whatever you, you see in the clouds. You've probably done this as a child, and hopefully you do it now too. It's a wonderful thing to do. It's just very enjoyable. You do the same thing with this. You find these different things in there that remind you of something else, and that's how I name them. You know, it could be a bird, a dancer, a, a fish, anything, you know, that will that I'm seeing and I'll say, oh, that looks like that. Oh, that looks like that. But did I intend to make these things? No, not at all. There was no intention of making a fish or a dancer or a dragon or any of the other things that appear. There's no intention of doing that. It just appears. It appears because I'm out of the way. Something is flowing through me. Life is flowing through me. And when these things appear, they're unique. They're not like what other people paint a bird or anybody else has ever painted a bird like this. Everything you see is unique. It's unique because it's nothing like you've ever done before. Even when you're doing this style, everything is still unique. And it's not like anything anyone else has done before. So this is true creativity, true uniqueness. You're bringing something fresh, alive, and new into the world when you paint like this. So this is a wonderful practice to do. And to begin with, you don't have to use these brushes. I mean, you can use an ordinary crayon and paint with an ordinary crayon, draw with an ordinary crayon, but do it in the same way. Hold it where you can be flexible, use your whole body through your feet, and very quickly, very quickly, 
too fast for your hand, for your eyes to see your hand moving. So you're not in the way. And this way you're letting life flow through you and create something without your intention. All your intention is only to take the crayon and, uh, and make the marks on the page. That's all, you know, make sure it's touching the page. So it's leaving a mark, but it doesn't have to be hard or soft. It'll just happen by itself and it will have its own style and unique way using a crayon as opposed to using a brush, as opposed to using an ordinary pen, a marker pen, as you can see in this, this marker pen that I use when you're through with it, you know, doing that same thing, you find these amazing shapes, these amazing lines that have this grace and eloquence and elegance to them and energy in them. In this case, these look like uh, a variety of different dancers, this expression of dance and, and energy and, and line moving through just simple marker pen. So it's a good idea to start like this. Just use a marker pen or a crayon or anything that you have. Make sure it's something that where the it can flow fairly quickly. You don't want a pencil is maybe a little bit too uh, slow. So you want, but you could use a pencil too, and you'll get the same results. So, and each one of these will look different. Each one of them will have a different kind of a quality to it. This is actually a brush pen which you can get, a Pentel brush pen. You can order this from Amazon or find it probably even in pharmacies and stuff. It has a little brush tip on it. So you can do very small, quick paintings like this. But in the same way that I'm describing, very, very fast. And as you do that, you'll see in the beginning, you may have to do 50 or 100 pages. So just use ordinary copy paper. You know, that's probably the cheapest. You can get sketchbooks as well that has more tooth to it. And it's nice in that way, particularly for the brushes. But it, you can also use, you'll also find amazing things just from ordinary copy paper. You know, you can get 100 sheets for like three or four dollars, maybe even less than that. And so you run through a lot of these. And, and in the beginning, you may have to go through 50 or 100 sheets before you're, you've let go of your baggage, let go of loosened up, let yourself get out of the way. And, and all, especially if you're an artist and a trained artist that you can let go of all your background, everything that you've learned and let it all go. That was the hardest thing for me to do, to let go of all my training as an artist. And, uh, but f I did through meditation practice, being able to empty my mind out, but it may take a, a while for you. If you've never drawn since you were a child, it might be easier for you to just let go and just scribble randomly and then go and look and you will have amazing results. So for an artist, it may be a little bit harder if you're a trained artist to be able to let go of all their background and everything you've learned of how to move the brush and how to do that, to just let it all go and be like a child again. Have the joy of a child and simply moving the pen or brush or crayon or whatever it is, just moving it on page and seeing that marks happen on the page, that enthusiasm and joy and love of that, the same thing you had as a young child, the same thing you had when you were doing this when you were, you know, six months old or like, you know, under a year old when you had a crayon or a pen and you were doing it, that same exploration, that same joy, that same no mind, that same mind that is not trying to make something, but is just amazed at what is being made. So in this way, life is flowing through you. And that is this great joy of creativity, this great wonder of creativity. So it may take you 50 or 100 sheets to loosen up, to find that joy again, to have that. But it's worth doing. And the more you do it, the, the quicker that will happen for you. So in the beginning, you may find that you haven't loosened up enough, so you're not really getting this beauty and this grace and this eloquence and power on the page until um, you've gone through 50 or 100 sheets. And then at that point, you know, you'll see at some point how it's getting better, how all of a sudden there are these beautiful things coming. Why? Because you've let go. You've let go to life. Your nature painting, your life painting, you're out of the way. And life is giving you this incredible, 
expression. So this is a spiritual practice that shows you that when you let go and you get out of the way, and you, you let go of your thoughts, your mind, and you're just purely, purely present as presence, not as a person, but as presence itself, that these amazing things happen and you can see it right on the page. And other people feel it too. They feel the energy in that. So I hope you do this practice. It's a wonderful practice to do, and you will have some incredible results. Whether you're an artist or not, it doesn't really matter. And you can take this skill and this way of being and bring this into dance, into music, into writing, into cooking, into everything in your life, to bring this true creativity in, to bring something new in. You know, And it also helps you if you have any uh, blocks or any... Uh, a feeling that you're, you know, not good enough, or a feeling of, of of reluctance to do it, or a feeling that you're not good enough, an insecurity that might come up, because it's not you; it's something more than you. Don't worry about you. There's something more than you that comes through, and when you see the results of this, you'll see that this is an incredible thing to do. Now, if you have a, a professional artist and you're doing it, it doesn't mean you have to stop doing that. This will just bring more creativity into that work. So I'm, I'm happy to offer this to you, and I hope you do this. Not only for my work, and, and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy that you like my work as well, and that you, you feel this energy from it, and you get something from that, but this is not about copying what I do. This is not about copying a particular style. This is about being free. And this is, the, this is a way that anybody can be free. It's not a technique. It's, it's a way that anybody can be free. It's getting rid of technique. It's beyond technique. So please feel free to use this and, and sample this and try this and experiment with this on your own. And I advise you, if you haven't done this before, to, to get some copy paper and go through 100 sheets because it may take you that long. If you have a strong meditation practice and you can really empty your mind out and be completely present, you won't need to go through that many. But if not, a hundred sheets should do it. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I hope you enjoy this and I'm, I'm honored to share this with you.